Hey, welcome everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a new review in front of us. It is the new Kia X seat. It's the new crossover. It looks like a seat, but it's a little bit uplifted. Now I have on my phone a little um, note. So this is the 1.4 T GDI. It's basically a 2.4 liter petrol engine with 240 horsepower and it's a four cylinder in line engine. So 0 to 100, 1.9 seconds is the official time. Top speed is 200 kilometers per hour, if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna test later the uh, 1 to uh, 0 to 100. So, if I unlock the car, you can see the mirrors will unfold. Uh, we have LED lights. Uh, they kind of do look like a little Porsche design, uh, a little bit of BMW maybe. Um, this is sort of the side look. Not sure only why one door handle has the illumination in the back one doesn't uh, nice LED lights on the back once again um, trying to unlock pressing the wrong button uh, the lights went off so I'm going to lock the car and unlock it for you so there it is back look um, no LED license plates uh, LED lights they're just kind of elegant bulbs fake exhaust but then you get the 426 liters trunk space if you fall down the seats 1378 liters um, yeah so you have an extra space on the bottom spare tire seats knocked down um, i believe 40 60 and that's about it i'm gonna jump inside immediately so the key is pretty much standard now it looks like a little trigger uh, but you know you can keep it in your pocket because there's a start stop so the only thing i dislike about the key when you leave from the car it doesn't lock itself you have to lock it uh, either with a key or press a little button on the door handle so let's start her up so we got a little system check there it's really nice now a little bit annoying is that you always get this um you know uh Thing that you need to confirm like uh, Kia doesn't want to take blame if you are not paying attention to the road but the screen is stop closer to the road now sorry for the blow let me see if you lower this fan speed now you have a 10 inch screen you have manual uh, dials with a little screen inside so it looks pretty nice looks sporty uh, red illumination in the interior I wish maybe it was white this is kind of old-fashioned seen in Audis before but it's not too shabby I would say I like the AC it's pretty nice to use let me just switch the lights on as you can see interior so pretty simple automatic AC we have heated seats on the bottom heated steering wheel it's fully heated not just sides and infotainment you can see in my in-depth review you can uh, put the maps on this is the dark mode you can have always maps on the side here you can have full screen and you can have here you know you know your radio so you can also turn on here the maps let me just you can either use it on a steering wheel or over here i don't want to get a copyright strike but the bass speakers are i would say okay could be better for bass speakers i would always go for the upgraded if the money is not an issue so before we head on just to show you Again, I will switch the light on. Sorry if this is a little bit long. You have a little compartment here, two 12 volt chargers, one USB. You have also space here, really comfortable for your phone. And uh, if you have a wireless charger, maybe power bank, you could put it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna press, I mean press, I'm gonna plug in my iPhone. For, so, sorry for the little hassle. Now I have to unbuckle myself because I can't reach for my phone. Don't use your phone while driving, but you can always use, so always safety first. A little cup holder here, big armrest while I'm at it. So I wanted to show you Apple CarPlay because it's just, you know, the Kia maps aren't that bad, but I would say. So you can see it here, Apple CarPlay. I'm gonna switch the lights off and you can just press here and you get Apple CarPlay. If you want to come back, you can press Kia comes gives you back so you have Google Maps look at this you have traffic information beautiful 10 inch screen crispy graphics and if you want to go back you can do it 
that way or you can press on ways which is also cool because you have uh, like warnings when there's a speeding camera so you can see there's a speeding camera there there's a speeding camera that this one doesn't work but there's you know speeding cameras so if you're in a new area it's nice to use that those features i'm gonna come back here so that's about it i think we should head on and drive so i'm going to actually unplug the actually no i'm gonna leave it like this so let's go and yeah automatic uh, electronic barking parking brake is a little bit in my personal personal opinion annoying because well, once you pull it, uh, you have to disengage it. It doesn't disengage automatically when you start when you start moving. And um, it doesn't turn on automatically as well. You need to engage it every time manually. So, hmm, maybe something here I should work on. Okay, so, let's head out. Now, while I'm waiting for my turn to turn um, let's see if I can yeah we can move now before I start talking about the uh, engine and everything you want to know uh, just a little uh, heads up now we have in the main screen we have here information now car was stationary that's the why consumption is like crazy because they left it idling when I was um, filming some b-roll and taking some photos so you can see here consumption when you're pressing uh, the uh, throttle or the gas pedal and uh, you can press on the top don't worry I see the car actually my eyes are on the speedometer I can see the camera is below my eyesight so it's perfectly safe for me doing this so you have a compass and you have a lane assist here and you have tire pressure and that's about it so pretty simple now there was a bump here uh, it's a speed bump but half of it's broken that's why it was a little hard so let's start talking about the car impressions so suspension suspension is actually comfortable i don't think we have a multi-link like independent suspension on the back as far as i know but we are on a 17 excuse me 18 inch alley wheels so there's not too much tire and i personally would love 17 because that's for me pers personally like good amount of tire for the comfort and alloy for the looks so that's it so are we on winter tires they might be a little bit noisy uh you're gonna see later on the motorway there's more wind coming from the side mirrors but uh the soundproof in the cabin is pretty you know i would say okay decent moderate soundproof now um the engine well First of all, I started driving it like a diesel. I'm a diesel owner, so if you drive it really, if you follow the instructions here for the shift ups and downs, you can have a like probably good consumption, but the engine will feel like it's not really that responsive. But if you drive it like a petrol, yeah, like you're supposed to go to high revs, the car is really responsive. It has enough power for a city daily driving, uh, going to the motorway, highway, whatever you call it in your country. So I would say this, 140 horsepower petrol engine is pretty good now i haven't managed to lower the consumption to the figures that you're supposed to get which is about 6.2 combined so okay so i'm gonna just punch it here all the way you can see it pulls up easily although i was already in high gear we're gonna go to slow down here so um really good driving uh the engine is nice and smooth uh, it doesn't you know it's a petrol engine so it's not really noisy but we see have i have a blind spot warning and blind spot when you move to the side it's not that bad although far on the back there is like on the sit pillar is a little bit why there's no window but um the driving so uh the handling is nice uh, the back end doesn't uh you know stick out in the corners it's the car is really i would say you know uh stable on the road handles really good the steering wheel is precise there's a little bit of you know um not too much stiffness but you know there's a little um resistance but it's good i would say it's nice um now as you can see the little green 
uh, there uh, there's a camera checking the lanes and when there's construction works it might you know it might resist so you should have in mind that you should always pay attention uh, not count on it although when there's you know ideal conditions there's curvy roads you can easily uh, just let go of the steering wheel it'll keep you in the middle of the lane so that's good but after a few seconds it'll vibrate it'll give you information to you know hold the steering wheel and pay attention to the road so now um, good handling good engine it's also linked to a good six-speed manual so I must say the manual is pretty good it's nice it's comfortable it's a little bit long gears not too long like French cars but a little bit longer it is precise but um, maybe a little bit noisy if I'm gonna be like really like trying to find something to criticize uh, like see that just that's the noise but uh, otherwise it's fine now this car has automatic parking which I never test because I, I just I don't think there's a need for that uh, I know how to park a car now there's a nice backing camera you can see it here pretty sharp graphics uh, you have uh, sharp parking sensors there's even parking sensors when you're parking uh, in the middle screen between the uh, gauges and has a really nice petrol sound so I really like that this petrol engine is pretty good I would say holds out nicely and the brakes yeah the brakes not to forget the brakes these brakes on this on the Kia are pretty good now they really grip hard from the start and I'm really impressed it takes a little while to get used to it but really really good brakes so I'm trying to think anything else that I might have missed so the interior is I would say the design is nice it everything feels like it it should be it's on the place it should be but on the top I don't know maybe the speakers there's a little plastic there I don't know if Kia kind of added some more details like aluminium speakers or I don't know something it might have looked a little bit more better but I would say the interior is overall well built there's no nothing shaking there's soft materials on the top on the side of the front doors the back doors is hard plastic but even the seats are really good they're really comfortable now uh, these seats are so comfortable I've been driving this car for four days actually three uh, but I got it for four days for a test this is a press car and really comfortable look at this pull I'm easily on the speed limit but I'm gonna you know lower my speed because I don't drive like this and then put it to higher gear not to hear that noise so really impressive uh, I'm really impressed with the Kia you know the Kia is stepping up their game uh, you know step by step they're not rushing it you know they know their place they're not a premium brand but they're a good brand uh, they uh, offer good value for the money so oh there's a new registered car sportage sportive yeah sportage so interior is really good the seats are really comfortable these are half leather half cloth really look nice you can see all that all interior all the functionalities in my in that review of the car so make sure to subscribe to this channel uh and click that little bell to get notifications when i upload a new video so you can see that uh, part in that review all the functionalities um, I'm trying to like think if I've missed anything now the LED lights well I would say for LED base lights they're actually decent they're uh, nothing like matrix but they are pretty good I mean there's a good visibility on this road we're gonna come to the motorway where there's no lights so we're gonna see better the performance let me just put the Apple CarPlay and I'm gonna put the ways on a little bit uh, let's see something different for a moment like I really love the screen it's sharp graphics and it's really useful especially if you have a you know a smartphone they can connect and uh, this car does have navigation honestly I think it's probably an extra option but if you have Apple car connection or you know Android Auto you can just use this uh, instead or if you want you can always go to Google Maps 
you can see traffic here it has a night mode which i really like so it's pretty cool so also the interior so the back space i'm a two meter tall person 6.6 .6, and you know on the back seat there's for me you know the roof is slipping down so uh definitely missing some headspace but on the front i'm really comfortable so you know for i think for an average person this car should be you know really okay uh you know or if you have kids on the back really so it's not an issue okay one thing i do like about kia maps is that it has a speed limit so on the top so you always know you know if you're in a country where there's no tolerance to the speed limit like in croatia there is 10 percent you know your speed limit so on the road you are so you know there's no fear of you know getting a speeding ticket because you're going a little bit over now we're coming to the motorway now on ways you get speed limit it's just really small and then if you're going above it shows you like uh, how much but it's so small you really can't see it there is a little warning like the temperature has dropped before below four degrees so like caution there might be ice on road so see it's telling you like oh you're going above the speed limit and then it just goes away and this car just pulls easily we're even going uphill So I speed it up to 150 to show you there's a lot of noise, a lot of wind noise. It's lots, a lot less noisy on lower speeds. We are on winter tires. I did get a strike by a rock. I didn't see any cars in front of me. I don't know where it came in from the side, from the front cars. So that was the noise. This is about 100. You know, there's some noise, but it's okay. I speed up. You know, there's a lot of noise, but you can always turn on the radio. But I'm not gonna play the radio. Now, there is a, on the steering wheel, there is cruise. You press down and then it engages. There's also a limiter. So you can set your limit. If you hold the throttle, it won't go above. You can just turn it off. But cruise, you press below and then you press up and you adjust the speed you want to go to it's gonna speed up there is pedestrian braking but unfortunately there is no uh, radar in front so there's that but you know everything is really simple to use and the LED lights in front are I would say really okay I can see in person really good is there the, this is the long wing just for a second so also good now I was just speeding up to show you the you know the sound and engine and how this engine can perform but you know stick to the speed limit in Croatia we do have 10% tolerance to the speed limit and 10% to the speedometer not being 100% correct so I can drive 156 uh, you know you're okay with 150 I've talked to the police to so the actual interceptors uh, 140 150 is okay above that is not okay so you're gonna get a speeding ticket if you go above that uh, so you know just 10% you know is a fine really uh, not every country has this comfort but we do here in Croatia so uh, you know I'm not really speeding at this moment 
so we're on a lane so I'm gonna purposely just leave it to go towards as you can see it corrects myself corrects me and it tells me to grab the steering wheel okay full stop no car in front no car behind us I'm gonna turn off the traction control brakes are good so that was 0 to 100 so we're gonna now test there is a gap here we're gonna go here and test the lights and the pitch black someone here now traction control is still off as you can see now I turned it on, that's why it was beeping. Now I'm gonna stop here, fully stop. So these are the lights, this is the long beam. When you turn the steering wheel there's no side fog lights. So the fog lights are on, back. So I'm just gonna bring my iPhone here to show you the difference between the iPhone camera Okay, once again, I'm just gonna show you the wide angle. Zoom back. So, as you can see, this is normal, this is high beam. You can really see a lot, so in person it's even better. Okay, so everyone, I'm gonna cut this in. So, I've been driving around, you know, I mean, maybe 20, 40, I don't know, kilometers. And consumption is combined 8.8, .8, and I've managed to get it to 8 liters. So, you know, I think maybe on a longer open road trip, you might get it something maybe closer to seven, but mostly around eight liters, uh, maybe even more in the city, you know, driving. So uh, I can see I've got a full tank, which is 50 liters. So I can see I've passed maybe um, around 100 plus kilometers. So, you know, it's good. It's not that bad, but, you know, for 140 horsepower, uh, it's around eight liters, uh, the best that I've got uh, in this test drive. Okay, we're about to wrap this video up. So you must be wondering what's the price tag on this car. So it's 26,000 euros. At this moment, you can get it for 24,000. It's on a discount. There's an action price. So there's gonna be a link in the video description for all of you Croatian audience. So um, I think this car is overall not too shabby. I mean, Kia is definitely uh, giving good value for money. Uh, you have seven year warranty, uh, which, you know, it's longer for some parts uh, and shorter for some depends. But definitely um, improvement uh, from Kia. I would say the car quality is better than it used to be. Uh, it's really comfortable. Everything is nicely laid out. The engine, the, everything, it's really good. Its handle is good. The X seat is good on the road. It got my approval as a really excellent, good uh, car for this budget. So we're gonna head to our parking garage and end the video so you can just see it a little bit more when there's more light inside and. You know, I always, if you're new to this channel, I pretend like I'm going from point A to point B uh, and wrapping everything up for you, like impressions, all impressions about the car. Come on. You can hear a good soundproof, you can only see hear the AC. I really love about this petrol engine, you can really hear it in the cabin as well as on the uh, outside. You can see that on my B-roll video, uh, where I'm gonna do a little bit of revs as well for you. So, let's see if we can find a parking spot. That was a little harsh, maybe. I'm gonna park here, wait for these people to exit. So I'm gonna park here, hazards on. That's mandatory in Croatia when you're parking, so other people can see you. 
So I'm used to using the mirrors, but can we squeeze? I'm not gonna risk. So we have a backing camera with a parking sensor, so you can see the sensors in the middle screen and on the main screen. I'm a little off, to be honest. There's a guy behind me. So I'm gonna back up out anyway, so that's about it. Hazards off. So be a cool person, give this video a massive like. Leave your comment below, what do you think about new Kia? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, stay safe on the road, don't forget your phone uh, and the car, your keys, and that's it. I'm going to see you in the next video. You press here to lock. See you in the next one, bye.